Tuesday, the 19th week in Ordinary Time, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man had a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Children in the time of Jesus uh, were not looked upon the way we would look at children today. Yes, they were children, but childhood was something to be seen as gotten through. Uh, certainly, uh, that's a little bit different stance that we take today. But also they were, some of the have-nots, they were the ones like widows uh, and orphans who were the have-nots of society. They had nothing. And so Jesus is saying, unless you become like this, unless you become like a child, humble, you shall not uh, enter the kingdom of heaven. How do we adults seek to be more humble, more childlike, not childish. I think there's a, a difference between being childish and being childlike. And then how do we live our lives in such a way that we, that we are humble in all that we do, in all of our service, in all of our ways? It's interesting the disciples would ask, who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Quite often I think that's easy to do in our social circles and in our parishes to say, who's the greatest? Well, it's not about being the greatest. It's who's, who can be more and more childlike, who can be humble, who can be open to being changed by God's word, who, um, who can be the one who seeks uh, to do God's will in everything rather than their own will. I think whenever we seek to do God's will, we come to see that, that, that ultimately God is in charge and not us. And there's a humility in that. I think there's a humility that must grow from that because we recognize that without him, we can do nothing. I think that's one of the things children understand, that in many ways they're weak and uh, they rely on adults for their care and for their nourishment. And we must be the same way with God. If we seek to be uh, more and more childlike, more and more humble, then we also recognize our need for God in every aspect of our lives. And we cry out to him and we ask him to be with us and to give us what we need. 